students my name is diana i am dealing with that subject physics so today we are going to study a physics chapter from your science textbook the name of the chapter is light shadows and reflections what is light from where we get light light is a form of energy light is a form of energy mainly we get light from the sun the major source of light is sun every living organisms in the on the earth depend on sunlight so light is a form of energy major source of uh, light is sun they what other other properties of light that we are going to learn in this chapter okay let us start the chapter everybody should watch the video and after that you have to read the textbook carefully and i will read the questions that questions you have to answer in your notebook and along with that you have to study that during live sessions i will ask the questions okay so i have read all you light is a form of energy the major source of light is sun they want any other properties we know that light is essential for photosynthesis plants prepare food with the help of sunlight then next property is light travels only in straight lines light do not have the ability to bend it travels only along straight lines the most important thing is we can see things only in the presence of light can you see anything in the darkness no it is not possible to see anything in the darkness imagine that during night if there is no light you are sitting in a room can you see anything in the room no if you light a candle or when the power comes if you light a bulb we can see the things in the room so this is the most important use of light light help us to see the things some objects can produce light of their own that kind of objects are called luminous objects so luminous objects are the objects that can produce their own light can you say examples for luminous objects the first and major answer is sun sun can produce its own light what about stars yes stars can produce their own light what about moon is is it included in the sun's luminous objects no moon cannot produce its own light what about a lighted candle yes lighted candle is an example of luminous objects lighted bulb luminous object lighted torch luminous object then in your surroundings you can see one creature that is firefly firefly is an example of luminous objects so these are some of the examples of luminous objects so what are what are luminous objects the objects that can produce the objects that can produce their own light they are called luminous objects then some objects are known as some objects are known as non luminous objects what are non luminous objects the objects that cannot produce they can't produce their own light many objects are around you that do not produce light first example you can write moon 
more it appears very shiny but it does not produce light it appears shiny due to the light falling on it from the sun when sunlight falls on the moon it will get reflected and that gives the shining effect of to the moon then all the planets all the eight planets and their moons are examples of non luminous objects then you can write your pen board book bag all this comes under non luminous objects so the objects that can that cannot produce their own light are called non luminous objects so objects are classified into two types they are non luminous objects and luminous objects based on their ability to emit light the next topic is sources of light the sources of light are divided into two types they are called natural sources and man made man made or artificial sources so sources of light are divided into two types natural sources and man made sources an object which can produce a light are called a source of light it can be natural or man made so which are the sources comes under natural we already know sun sun is a natural source of light stars these are natural sources of light man made man made examples lighted candle lighted bulb lighted torch these things comes under man made sources of light so our next topic is illuminated objects illuminated object means they appear shiny bright so the objects that appears shiny due to the presence of light but they do not produce they do not produce their own light but it appears shiny these are some of the examples of illuminated objects these objects appears to be bright because when light falls on these objects it will get reflected back to our eyes when this light falls on our eyes we can see the objects and these objects cannot produce their own light they reflect the light that falls on them when light from the sun falls on the earth that part of the earth appears as illuminated and that has day then the other side which does not receive sunlight has night this is the way day and night occur so every object appears bright when they reflect the light falls on them similarly we can read from a textbook or notebook or we can see the things around when light falls on it and will get reflected back to our eyes so from this we can understand that vision is possible only in the presence of light if there is no light nothing is visible so light will get reflected from the object makes the things visible